one of the real centerpieces uh, in the new curriculum around uh, the global subject is the introduction of the global experience requirement. So we now require every single student uh, to go to a country where they did not grow up, where they have not had significant work experience, preferably sometime in their first year or else shortly uh, into their second year. And so students go out of their comfort zone to countries that they've never been before. They do it either on a study trip or maybe they do it in a global management immersion experience over the summer or in a regular internship over the summer. But one way or another, they go to a country where they've not had prior experience. And what we have found, which has far exceeded my expectations, is of course the student has their own experience uh, in these countries. But more importantly than that, each of them brings a different experience back to the GSB. So this student will have been in Brazil, somebody else will just have been to China, somebody else will have been to Guatemala. And regardless of what you're talking about in class, you can rely on a student to say, well, you know, I was just in the Middle East, I'm not sure that this concept would really apply in the context that I saw. But perhaps another student will say, well, I was just in India, and I do think that this is highly relevant uh, to the Indian context. So the global uh, requirement, this global experience, uh, gives each student an outbound experience, but then on the inbound side, uh, really enables them to share uh, their experiences, globalizing the entire environment uh, and education. Just the last few years, I've had the incredible pleasure of going on study trips to India and China, Ghana, the Middle East, Kenya, Thailand, the Philippines, a variety of places. Um, and out of those trips have come several cases that I was able to write on companies in those countries, which I have then brought back either into elective courses or in some cases into the required uh, prin uh, principles and foundations courses.